Welcome to the Daily Politics, Mr. Wynne Jones. Um, in the Thanks last well. Much. In the last Welsh Assembly elections, you fought against Labour, but you then went into coalition with them. Now, this morning you told the BBC you'd be willing to go into coalition with uh, Labour in Westminster. So, I mean, I guess a vote for Plaid is a vote for Labour. Well, it isn't, actually, because, you know, we made it clear when we fought the 2007 Assembly election, we were prepared to talk to any party about making a progressive and uh, stable government in Wales, which we secured. We're not talking about a coalition, obviously, in Westminster terms, but we are talking about, you know, being prepared to talk to other parties about making sure that, you know, those policies that we outlined today, like protecting the vulnerable pensioners in particular and children, and schools and hospitals would be part of those discussions. But I guess as long as a Labour government was prepared, to, a minority Labour government, was prepared to keep the subsidies pouring across the Welsh border, you'd be happy to keep it in power. Well, I don't think it's a case about subsidies pouring across the Welsh border. I think now there are four independent reports, two of them from uh, the United Kingdom uh, Parliament, uh, the House of Lords one, the House of Commons another, the Calman Commission in Scotland and the Holton Commission in Wales are all saying uh, that the funding formula for Wales is not currently fair. We're not calling... So if there was, for example, an initial £300 million, which is the shortfall identified in the Holton Commission was paid to uh, Wales, then uh, that wouldn't prevent us from the, all the cuts that would happen uh, after the general election, but would go some way towards protecting us. Are there any spending cuts in the Plaid Manifesto? Yes, there are. I mean, we've made it clear that we've identified around £14 billion of cuts that could be made uh, without affecting frontline health and education services. And there are also some one-off savings of around £10 billion, which we think could be done without too much difficulty. Not, not, not I think all there's in always Wales, ways in which governments... How much should we no, do? No, no, I mean, it affects, the whole, sure. it affects the whole of the United Kingdom. Yeah. Uh, how much would you cut in Wales? Well, what would happen in Wales, of course, is that if you look at the Treasury book, we would expect that the Welsh block would be cut by about £3 billion between now and 2014. Now, obviously, we're in coalition here in Wales, and we have some very difficult choices to make uh, when the comprehensive spending review is made later this year. Now, your po pals in the Scottish Nationalists want a, a referendum on independence for Scotland. Uh, do you want a referendum mm. on independence for Wales? No, the current proposal for us is to have a referendum on lawmaking powers for the Assembly. You'll know, obviously, that the Welsh Assembly itself mm. has voted for starting the process for that referendum, and we'd expect, then, that the next Westminster government would have to agree to okay. that request. All right. Mr Wynne Jones, just to answer this, because I saw a report uh, earlier, you can tell me if, if you think this is right or wrong, that the Conservatives see, seem to be doing rather well in Wales, which historically has been pretty, or at least in modern times, barren territory. Why is that? Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I simply don't know whether the Conservatives are, are likely to do well in Wales. All I do know is that the, the Labour Party is struggling and struggling very badly, primarily because, you know, Wales has been traditionally supportive of the Labour Party, but now the people of Wales have seen the Labour Party turning their backs on some of those core values and priorities which the former Labour Party uh, was espousing, but now it looks as though there's not real much difference between both Labour and the Conservatives. So I think there's all to play for in Wales, for other okay. parties. Mr Wynne-Jones, thanks uh, for joining us live from Cardiff, the leader of Plaid Comrade. Thank you very much.